Introducing the Assistance of Terminus, the first ever mobile voice assistant for the world of Terminus. Hey AOT, what do you want? What race should I make my paladin? Scar. But Scar can't be paladins. Make a dialogue and stop being a pansy. Welcome to Interviews with Minus. Wait, do you really want me to say this? Yeah, just say the line. The greatest talk show in Terminus. Hey everybody, Minus here, and this is another episode of Interviews with Minus. Uh, we are super excited today to introduce someone to the community that not everybody may be familiar with. So without further ado, everybody, please welcome Surfer Dave. What's up, Dave? How are you? Whoa. How, how did this happen? It's like, a very sophisticated robot. We got it cheap. It was used, but uh, it's a bat projection bot. We got you here pretty easily over satellite, I think. Nice. We don't, we don't have satellite where I'm from on the island. All we have is surfboards and some good times and a tiki bar. That's it. I like tiki bars. That's, uh, I, could, I would give this all up for a good tiki bar. Oh, you haven't seen nothing yet, my friend. <laughs> I have a tiki bar. We have everyone that comes out. We do socials. We do interaction. It's intense and a good time. And it looks pretty warm there. I mean, what's the oh, temperature? Oh, yeah. yeah. Every day is warm and life is grand. It's a nice chill, 88 degrees, winds light out of the southeast between five to seven knots. Can't Very beat nice. it. You know, uh, Hi Yaz from Canada, so he complains to me all the time that it's cold, so I send him pictures of palm trees from Florida. So. <laughs> yeah, keep, keep sending them. I'll send him some as well. Great, you great. know what? He needs them. So Surfer Dave, uh, why, uh, why should people know about you? What have you been up to uh, leading up to this uh, fabled interview? All right, well, for anyone that doesn't know me, which is probably everyone, I'm Surfer Dave. I am a cosplay Twitch streamer. Uh, my main focus is MMORPGs. Uh, been a big fan of Pantheon right from the get go. We're going all the way back to the crowdfunding project. Um, just recently, I've been more vocal within the community. I'm part of a very, um, very good guild community guild called Rainborn. We're mm -hmm. getting ready for Pantheon. Um, I'm a proud officer of that guild. I do the recruitment and, uh, you know, we're getting close. Um, to alpha, I feel. I feel like alpha could be this year, next year, but regardless, we're getting there. Um, and I feel like this is the time to make the move as a streamer to go over as um, an MMORPG full time, doing starting out with EverQuest and doing some Vanguard, which was my main passion of an MMO, believe it or not. So, Surfer Dave, uh, welcome, first of all. Glad to have Thank you on. You. And let's get people knowing you a little bit. We're going to jump right into the questions Got here. It. So, so the first one you kind of hinted on, but let's get deeper into it. Why do you play MMORPGs? Oh my God. I was ruined. Brad McQuaid, <laughs> you ruined my life. You ruined it in a good way. Um, Brad, damn it, Brad. <laughs> but uh, no, getting back to it. What, I was big into single player games, but I don't know about you guys, but for me, when a game ends and I put all that investment time in, it bothered me that it, that was it. And now we're going back to 99, you know, like games around that era. EverQuest comes out and that is a game changer. You know, it's, what is this? What is this interaction? You mean I can play with other people like anytime I want and it's going to take time. Even when you hit a max level in one of these games, you're not done. And that to me was the connection. And I was hooked from there on out. Yeah, it's true. I mean, uh, you know, a, a great game can stick with you from a story perspective, but when it's mm -hmm. over, it's always over. And I don't think well, you may enjoy completing a game, but when you do, you sort of left with that empty feeling of what's next. And when you play an MMO, you're, you never have a what's next. It's what's next tomorrow in this game. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you're at the mercy of the creator of the game, where in an MMORPG, you're not so much um, because they're giving you content after you hit that max level, whether you want to do raid, EVP. You want to, you know, especially in a game like EverQuest, I met some incredible people in, on the second time around. You know, it's been 20 years since I really played EQ. And then I went right in and it's like the same feels were there. And that's what is missing in MMOs today. You can go to World of Warcraft. You can go to even games like ESO, which I actually like ESO, but you're not meeting random people that you're going to call friends later on. You have to be in guilds, unfortunately, for that. And that's where, you know, socialization 
in these games. It's missing. It's it's you go in a dungeon and wow, and it's over. They leave the group. And if you, you never make it through them again, if someone if doesn't drop and screw the group over, <laughs> exactly. And community is another. Yeah. And you know these games are toxic. Unfortunately, I, I I'll say it. Listen, I played WoW and I beat you know a ton of raid in that game, but in the end, it's toxic. And I feel with the Pantheon community, which I've been around now for a while, I'm a lurker within the community. So I apologize <laughs> if I don't. If you post hear the, the sound of waves in the background, Surfer yeah. Dave is near. You might just see me say, dude, with like three periods at the end of one of your posts. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I, I just feel like with the Pantheon community, I don't think we're going to have that toxic. Uh, it's going to be that toxic. I don't feel like we're going to have that issue at all. It's a great community. I don't think people are going to drop from groups when they wipe. I think people are going to be more determined to work together because at the end of the day, this isn't an instant game, boys and girls. This game is you're going to see them again and you're going to have to group with them. And they might even though they left the group because they felt that they were better than you or you were wiping and they just felt like they didn't have that ability to want to stay in that group and just want to move forward. They might have no choice but to be group with you the second time around because they can't get a group. So, Mr. Badass, I like to apologize to you because you're probably going to end up in my group again. <laughs> after i wiped you three times well you know it's not going to be about the speed at which you do things it's going to be at the success you do them and Absolutely. i think that's a much different measure uh when it comes to um you know how a game is going to feel and play you know in in wow you weren't allowed to talk to your group because you're wasting time in this game you're gonna have to talk to your group and if you don't you're not gonna have a place in that group <laughs> so yeah no you're absolutely right socializing in mmos that's where it all started and how we've how we've come so far from that it's just mind blowing to me i understand it you know a triple a mmo like world of warcraft comes out and it's just multi million dollar you know company at this point and any game that wants to come out you know that these triple a titles are like yeah let's let's be them let's do that you know what let's add you even voice. saw games we'll be like different. star wars that had its own base star wars galaxy had its own core group but it wasn't you know on that level of wow and they killed the game by turning it into wow or trying to um so i agree 100 percent with you there let me ask you something minus i'm gonna flip the interview real quick uh -oh, uh -oh. star wars galaxies never came out let's let's do a what if all right okay it comes out tomorrow with updated current graphics but the same formula is is it gonna mind blow everyone in the community in mmos um, yeah, I mean, it has the back end of probably one of the most popular franchises out there. I would, uh, is, is Jar Jar Bing's going to be in it? Cause that may have an important play. <laughs> I'm not. So I, I'm going to, I'm going to get in trouble here. You just, you just threw Jar me Bing. under the bus. So here, here's what's going to happen. Ready? I'm going to look right into the camera. Pantheon fans. I don't like Star Wars. <gasps> yeah. Um, <gasps> Captain Kirk every day. So anyway, <laughs> no, I'm, but no, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. <laughs> Okay, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. So, no, but uh, no, honestly, with the popularity and the backing of Disney, yeah, I mean, player-created economy, skills. There was quite a bit in that game that if you put it out now, the people who are newer to the MMO world that didn't know what that sure. game was when it launched would probably say, these are so new and innovative ideas. It's kind of like Way when Disturbed covers the sounds of silence and that young kid <laughs> comes up to you and says, did you hear that new Disturbed song? And you just want to punch him, but you yeah. go to jail because he's just a kid. But, okay, so... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree with you. I think uh, there's definitely a place for uh, where we're heading. But let's jump into question okay. two. This is a fun one. You got to be honest. Okay. Tell me about a time you got in trouble in an MMO. It's EverQuest. And we are in high keep. I'm probably 17, 16 years old. I don't know. I was a teen mm -hmm. and I didn't care about anything else but EverQuest. But I was in high keep. And I couldn't find a group. I was a wizard. No one likes wizards. Yeah. I, whatever, I was a wizard too. Know? Listen, wizards need loving too, okay? <laughs> we are building groups. If you just give us a chance, just because three wizards on your server gave us a bad rep for AFK, you know, shame on you for not giving us a chance, okay? Well, are we, we're talking pre Valais. This is no expansions. Okay, good, because after Valais, we sucked because everybody oh, yeah. was frosting yeah. me. But anyway, so but, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, yeah, fair enough. Uh, but uh, no, it was in High Keep, and there was this lookout room you know there was the guard room for the goblins and then there was this lookout room to the right it was basically a room when i played on uh bertoxelis server 
where it was kind of like two mobs spawned in there. There was these lookout goblins and you just kind of hung out there until you were able to get a group. You know, it had a good like separation of timer. I think every goblin might have spawned every seven minutes. So there was a little layover. Um, but I went there at a little low level. They were like yellow or close to red. Uh, but there was a bug. I found a bug where if you went to the corner of the wall, when the goblin was attacking you, the goblin went to the completely diagonal opposite ah. and just stood there. And I said, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm 16. I didn't know any better. I just went with it. Oh, I yeah. just went. With it. And then everyone else went with it. And then I couldn't get that, that spot no matter what time I logged in after school. Didn't matter. It, 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 once it got out there, it was out. And then they fixed it. And then it went my life back to wizard being alone. Okay, so that was question two. We're halfway through the main questions, but we're going to jump into 10 this or that's. And I just want you to answer them freely. Don't put too much thought into them. I'll have some commentary. Uh, we'll have some fun with it. And these are random. So uh, 10 random this or that's. First one here, pancakes or waffles? Ego waffles all the way. Yeah. I actually agree. I think pancakes, there's a comedian who says you kind of just get sick of them. Like they're good at first and then you never really want to finish them. I went on a five-year hiatus from pancakes. I've never <laughs> gone on a five-year hiatus from, from Eggo waffles. <laughs> um, if you had your choice between hot pretzels or nachos. Nachos all the way. Dude. Yeah, I think you might be able to put anything. Like, I think if that question was sex or nachos, I might still go with nachos. I don't know. Uh, yeah, okay. it's a this is one. <laughs> um, yeah, I know. We're supposed to be kid friendly. Well, I'm saying go nachos, wife, kids. Wife, it's safe. I hope my wife doesn't watch this. But uh, yeah, <laughs> unless you get some nachos out of it. Um, so uh, <laughs> next question here, and I think I know where this is going because I've already uh -oh. I know more about uh -oh. you already. Okay, Bruce Willis or Harrison Ford? <laughs> Harrison Ford. Sorry, I gotta I figured, go. Harrison Ford. I figured. I'm figured. a Star Wars buff at heart. And when he got away from Star Wars and he did all the other movies, he was just as amazing. Come on, Indiana Jones. Okay. Air Force One. Okay. Come on. Force I, One. I mean, Bruce Willis is in the best Christmas movie ever made. Let's not forget <laughs> that. <laughs> um, Friends or How I Met Your Mother? I just actually watched How I Met Your Mother. Uh, but I got to go with Friends. Yeah, I'm going to go with Friends too. My wife I gotta go watch friends. How I Met Your Mother. It's great. But is that showing our age? Is that showing my age at least by picking friends? No, I mean, I don't know. maybe. Okay. Who knows? No, friends is better. Spider Man or Superman? Spider Man. Oh, thank you. Listen, at least we can Superman, agree there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut everyone up real quick with this. <laughs> Superman. They never nerfed him. Okay, <laughs> he's overpowered. You need to nerf him at some point in time in history. So you're saying he is, he is, he is the uh, Legion Affliction Warlock forever. Yes. <laughs> Listen, him and Thor are OP. <laughs> OP in my books. I will not give them the time or day. You know what bothers me about Superman and a lot of DC? And then we get more haters like, he doesn't like DC and he oh, doesn't no. like... Uh, there's oh, no, no consequence. If Spider-Man no. knocks over a lamppost, he's in the paper for being a villain to society. And yes. Superman has pretty much destroyed every town he's ever fought in. So, Spider-Man had his back against the wall the day he put the mask on. <laughs> Superman puts on tights and they're like all praise Superman. I mean, the guy could do no wrong. <laughs> Would you rather live in the country or the city? The country. Yeah, I agree. 100%. There's nothing that could make me live in a city, honestly. All oh. right, this is a good one. This is really good because it's tough. Uh, Pac-Man or Tetris? You're really putting me on the spot there. <laughs> um, I own, I'm only going to go with Tetris because I've been playing it a lot recently on my phone to kill time. Okay. I'd go Pac-Man. Waiting for Pantheon. I've been playing Tetris. There you go. <laughs> I'd go, I, I don't know if you've played the Pac-Man 256. You can play it co-op and like the screen's eating itself. If you haven't oh, yeah, tried that, cool. it's, it's oh, yeah. pretty sick. Yeah. That's a lot of fun. That's, that, that, is, that is like Evercrack. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Just awesome. put that in as the mini game. Um, <laughs> would you rather be a rock star or a professional athlete? Rock star. I play music. So I have to go yeah. with uh, with Rockstar. Yeah, I'm agreeing with you there. Rockstar, you get to chill and party a lot. And professional athlete, you have to like watch what you eat and stuff. Uh, watch what you eat, watch what you do. Listen, Rockstars, you can do whatever they want. Yeah. And we don't go to jail until okay. way later. So. Exactly. <laughs> and we can take out the blue M&Ms. And Keith, bowl Keith Richards is the... still alive. So, I mean, there's that. <laughs> <laughs> See, there you go. There you go. Frozen pizza or Domino's? <laughs> 
Oh, I almost have to flip a coin for that one because it's both the same. <laughs> There's so much hate on Domino's. I saw that. And I'm like, ah. Oh. You know what though? In my in my college years playing Vanguard, I ordered a lot of Domino's. See, I'm a big Vanguard player. Uh, okay. I would have to say more than I was with EverQuest. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've actually mentioned this to Brad. Uh, my wife played with me. Uh, it was the first game that she we just moved in together. I had sat her down and just tried to sell her on this game because I noticed she had a Lord of the Rings book. Uh, <laughs> nice. And I said, I got this. Any got in, this. any in possible. Four years later, she's the the lead cleric in our raid guild uh, for heals. Mind blown on that one. Um, and uh, I was able to we were able to save a for a house and our wedding because of. Thing. I know a lot of people instead of spending like money game. going out and doing crazy things, you just spent your time in playing, right? 30 best $32 we ever spent. <laughs> yep. I'm going to go on record with this minus. I know we're off topic and I apologize. <laughs> no, you're good. But no I'm going to say here. right now, <laughs> Vanguard, if Vanguard were to release with Microsoft and was bug free, fully optimized, I don't think they would have uh, been successful. And my reason still wouldn't be successful. And my reason is world of Warcraft was at, the peak of its time. Yeah. No one cared what the hell came out. The kiss I mean, of death to your game was if you declared yourself a wow killer because you became yeah. a meme. Today, if we're, if Vanguard came out today, like I said with Star Wars Galaxy, they could give competition. 100%. It's a different time. Yeah. World of Warcraft played on the simplest machine. You could play with your friend down the road where you couldn't really do that in games like EverQuest, Vanguard, EQ2. They were pushing the envelope with graphics. Um... WoW wasn't, but WoW had a whole different format of a game. People gravitated to it. It became nothing was stopping World of Warcraft. Today, it's a different story. I agree, 100%. There's only one more this or that left. Okay. So would you rather, and, and you have to be real about this, and I'll be real too. If okay. you were given superpowers, in your heart, do you believe you would be a hero or a villain? Ah, man, it depends on the power. It depends. Ah, uh, probably. I, you know what? It would be a hero, okay. but man, I would be tempted by the dark side every second of my day. Um, who's the villain? Who's a good uh, superhero that would be a Magneto. good example? Magneto. Magneto <laughs> went to the dark side though. But yeah. who's a Daredevil? No, Daredevil is kind of Punisher. A Punisher. There you go. Perfect. I would be like a Punisher. Mm -hmm. I can respect that. It would be hard. Um, I mean, there's a lot of people who are not great people right now. And you, I'd have to really consider if it would be worth saving them. <laughs> I I, that's I, the problem. <laughs> I'm at the point. I'm a streamer. I'm, I, I love <laughs> yeah. the community. But there are times where I'm playing games and I'm just like, that's it. That's it. I Wait, hold on. We got to do this. We got to do it. Reddit. We love you. Reddit. We love you. We do. I love Reddit. I'm going to get Reddit. butchered by Reddit when they see this. They're going to be like, who is this? Surfer Dave loves Reddit. Reddit. We both absolutely <laughs> love. I'll tell you, the classiest group of people I've ever interacted with, and I love every one of them. This may be edited out. <laughs> um, so. Where's my beer? I need a beer now from the Tiki Bar. All I love right. Reddit. So that's I love reading Reddit. Yes. I Yeah, I prefer reading more than... It's a great toilet read. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so think about that when you grab somebody else's phone. Um, so <laughs> let's get into question number three. So uh, what was your most emotional moment in an MMORPG? Vanguard. You know, when they released, uh, what was it called? Uh, Ancient Port Warehouse. It was their premier raid dungeon. A lot of people missed out on that. We stayed um, through the, the good, the bad, and the ugly, but they released probably the best raids that I've ever seen. And... Uh, we be, we defeated Kotazoth. It was the end game dragon, and uh, it was emotional because it was kind of like we didn't know if they were they were gonna ever come out with the raid zone, and you know it was more emotional that we stuck with it, we did it, uh, the game was still around for us to do it. Um, it was emotional just in all areas like that uh, for me, uh, and then getting the kill with the guild of people that I've been grouping with for over a year to get to that point, it mattered. You don't get that as much anymore in MMOs with guilds and rating. You know, everyone feels like they're the next free agent, you know, Terrell Owens in football. The minute they hit max level and get some, you know, good purple gear from grinding groups, you know, it didn't work that way yep. in a game yep. where there is no instances. You know, yes, there was. They had shards for the uh, Ancient Port Warehouse, 
But at the end of the day, you know, you still would go past them. You know, you would see five to six other gills in each shard going through individual wings within this raid zone. Um, so, you know, and the community was small. So, you know, you got to know every guild very well. But even in EverQuest, you know, that's how it worked too. And you just don't see that today in games. Everyone feels like they're the next best free agent. And then they go from one guild to the next guild to the next guild, not building any relationships. Therefore, I feel when you get that end game kill, it doesn't mean as much. Yeah, I've never I've never been there when they're shutting a the server down. And I imagine that that would break my heart if I was super invested. Yeah. So it was it was a bitter it was a bittersweet moment because, you know, I was there from the beginning, from beta to the 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 bad fall then to slow rise they had actually had some intern devs come in that just set the world on fire in my opinion one of them was ikik ikik if you're watching this <laughs> part of pantheon thank you so much for all the work you did on vanguard it did not go unnoticed from us there but you know and then they went to the free to play model and i was there for that and i was there to the very end it was kind of like it was time but not this time Lessons nope, learned. Not this time. We know what yep. we're doing. Guys, when you have to wait for a couple more months to hear a date, it's worth it. It's worth it. Yeah, absolutely. They, so, I, I'm so impressed with these devs. I, I'm just so impressed on how hard and focused they are to giving back to the community because they they know what they want, you know, and they're not being, in my opinion, you know, there's no one breathing down their neck to say, like, why don't we go this direction? They're going to build a game that we all gravitated to in 1999 and in 2006 or Star Wars Galaxy, I think that was like 2004, you know, we're going to be able to go back home. And that's something we've been longing for a long time. I had high hopes with EverQuest next. Oh. That went way out the window. We, we're not allowed uh, to talk about that on this show. No, not allowed. <laughs> yeah. No EverQuest next. We want to talk about it on the show. <laughs> In Pantheon, we trust. In yes, Pantheon, we, we trust. trust. In Pantheon, for sure. Yeah. Oh, EverQuest next. Um, okay, so last question, and then we'll, uh, we'll wrap yep. up after that. But So you've kind of hinted on it. If you had to break it down for someone watching who's exploring Pantheon content, that's what we like to hope we're doing is helping those new people who found yeah. out about the game learn a little bit more. Um, why are you all in on Pantheon? There's no game like this, even close to even coming out or has been released. Um, we need socialization back in MMOs. We got to bring it back. We got to have groups that are tough, we got to have community where community matters there. You don't see those in these games. You know, that's, that's without that, you just have another single player game with thousands of people. Um, I don't think we're going to see that, uh, based off the streams that we have seen from co and then anyone else that had the privilege doing it with the free alpha that we were able to see, you know, you're already seeing, you're hearing it in the groups, the laughter, the camaraderie. You're not getting that in wow in world of Warcraft. <laughs> when a getting... group wipes in wow, everyone's swearing at each other and God, G quitting and rage quitting. <laughs> it's not even that anymore. It's it's literally, I just played WoW um, over the summer when I tried to go back for the new expansion of my stream. It's, they just leave the group. There's no, you suck anymore. There's none of that. Or at the end, if you do well, it's take care. That's it. <laughs> Socialization has gone. Yeah. So we need to bring that back. And I think a lot of people that from that are from World of Warcraft that are looking for a change are going to come into this game. I think they're they're probably going to judge for a second, but just like anyone else, when it came to EverQuest, you get right back on. You get right back on. Yep. So I think they'll be. I mean, and what's interesting? So we just started a poll today. This isn't a self plug, but it actually matters. Um, we started a poll today about what MMO RPG you've come from, and I okay. think that I'm going to be really. It's obviously going to be a small portion of the of the crowd, but you know we did put it on Reddit, so we're getting a lot of Reddit feedback. Um, there's a lot of people coming from WoW. I think the misconception of these are all EverQuest fans is actually pretty pretty wrong. I think there's mm -hmm. a lot of EverQuest fans. I think that the EverQuest fans are the most vocal. Um, but I think there's a lot of WoW people, a lot. And I, I may argue 50%, which I don't think people are, are expecting, that do want more. They know what they're missing because they're hearing about it. And they're hearing about it from these EverQuest fans that are out there. And EverQuest fans keep talking about it. Vanguard fans keep talking about what made it different because you're exciting people. And uh, that's going to help this game grow. Keep exciting the WoW fans. Let's not shame them away. Let's welcome them in to actually getting what we got out of what you got out of Vanguard, what I got out of EverQuest, the friendships. You know, I think that uh, in this day and age where we're all socially connected, but we're not seeing each other face to face as much anymore, yep. these interactions that take up how much of our day are super important, right? I 100% agree. Here's a fun fact right now that it's funny you said that. MMORPG.com, okay? Thousands upon thousands of hits a day. Every year, 
most hyped game to come out is Pantheon. Yep. What is the number one game that gets the most hits a day on MMORPG.com? World of Warcraft. It, the numbers don't lie. So There's those a lot fans of people are, are coming there and they're looking they're around. They're, they're looking, looking around. And, and, and it's all community that votes on their game that they most highly anticipated. Yep. And Pantheon has been like, I think two, maybe three years in a row. Yeah, and Pantheon doesn't need to be, you know, uh, 10 million people. It, it could yep. be a million and be a huge success the way they're building this game. Uh, we just want the right people. It doesn't matter what game you've come from. Come come play, come build relationships, uh, come tackle some difficult content, experience a game where when leveling actually matters, which I think yeah. I've just craved for so long. So, <laughs> Well, you know what? I think, I think Pantheon is going to have something for everyone, and that's the reason why you have guilds. You know, these guys that are maybe more geared in that type of mindset might gravitate to a guild like that. And they'll stay within their guild and build their friendships their unique way and do their dungeon crawling the way they're familiar with in playing World of Warcraft, where most of us, you know, the other community, I should say, within Vanguard and EverQuest will go the way of like just the socialization, will do their guild stuff, but are not afraid to make that friendship outside of their guild groups as well. That's the beauty of Pantheon. It's going to cater, I feel, to a little bit of everyone, uh, everyone's needs. And I think we're going to get that hardcore fan. I think it's going to be tough. I think there's going to be consequences as there's already been millions of discussions with when you die. So, you know, it's going to bring out the best and maybe sometimes the worst in people. But at the end of the day, you're going to relog back into the game yep. and you're going to keep playing. Awesome. So, Surfer Dave, thank you for being on with us. Can you tell people how they can see your content um, and how they can reach you? Sure. I am Surfer Dave. Um, I am Surfer Dave Media on Twitch. You can follow me at Surfer Dave Media on Twitter. Uh, right now, we're getting ready to start streaming EverQuest. Awesome. I feel that this is the right time to strike back into the community and start talking a lot about Pantheon on the stream. We'll be talking about a lot of different topics. Um, Going to try to get some podcasts. I would love to have Minus come on to uh, hang out and do some giveaways. Um, it's going to be a good time. I've reached out to Baz. I want to get everyone together uh, within the Pantheon community. And uh, I'm a cosplay streamer. I also, sometimes you might see me out of cosplay. Right now, I'm not in that cosplay mode talking. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I would love to see you guys come in, Reddit people included. Yes, Reddit, we do love you. We, we love, do love you. Don't yeah. don't hate us and download us, please. Okay, so uh, Surfer Dave, it's been awesome. Everybody, thank you for watching another episode of Interviews with Minus. This will keep going. If you're a fan, if you're a creator, if you're a dev, which if we have to tie you up and drag you onto the show, I'm not against it. <laughs> and Nathan's pretty crazy, so I think I can get him to help us out. So everybody, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next episode.